Welcome back. I promised you ages ago that I'd bring this reveal video and I've been putting it off, putting it off and putting it off. Why? Because it's never finished. We're constantly adding to it. And I think over the next four, five, six, God knows how long, we're always gonna be changing this balm. We've already had probably around about 40 customers in since we've opened, probably more than that actually. We have bikes booked in every day, working on people's bikes. Let me show you around so you can see exactly what we've done with the place. But before we do that, that. Let's go back a couple of years when we first found this property and what this barn looked like before we did all the renovations. What we're really interested in is the new workshop for a bike thing. Walk through here trying to keep this nice and... So this is basically going to be, the, from what I gather, a kitchen, lounge area, pool table, nice Chesterfield sofas, right? And so this is also not too sure what's going to happen here, but as you can see, this is where the, the pigs used to feed or the cows, I don't know. We're back here. So this is a, another part of the, the barn and come out through here, just the ISO. Sorry, giving you a rain documentary what I'm doing to my phone. Uh, another barn door to the outside there. And we've got another door into here and this will probably, probably be my office in here. So if I walk you back through, can you see how this is gonna be amazing? Hopefully, but when you well, when you're watching this video, you, you already see the transformation. I'm showing you the the build and the making of a bike thing stable. And it really is a stable. Now this barn is 200 years old, we think. I think it was originally used for cows, milking cows or something like that. Hence why you had all the bays and the raised areas. So it wasn't really fit for purpose for what we were doing here. But I knew that this had the potential to be what it is today. And what it is today is a fitting workshop, but predominantly we are a mail order company. That is our core business. The mail order is what keeps us super busy. But where we differentiate ourselves with the competitors is that we're not just box movers. We're not just a website and stocking goods on a shelf and sending them to you. We actually touch the products. We have a proper connection with the products that we sell because we're here every day fitting it. So we, we put our name to it. So one of the things I want to do is actually walk you through. So going back about six months ago before they started the, the building process, actually it was I think the first or second day when they were ripping the roof off that I took this camera here and, and walked from the back of the room all the way down. So I've done the same again now so you can see the difference between then and now. Also, I urge you to sign up to our Instagram account. I appreciate a lot of you don't use Instagram, but Instagram is the way how I can post things right there at that point in time. It's so easy and simple. YouTube takes a bit more work. We will always do YouTube videos, always. It's just that from day to day use, I will be posting on Instagram. Every day I will be getting my phone out and videoing content in portrait mode, which I then put onto Instagram. So I'll put a link down below to that. Obviously you have to sign up to Instagram. You know, it's, it's well worth doing it, Instagram. It really is. If you don't know how to use Instagram, just Google it or, or YouTube it. Just type in at the top of the bar how to use Instagram because all you do is you follow the people that you're interested in and then you will see their posts that they post on a daily basis, whether it's posts, reels or stories. Stories tends to be the one where they're there for 24 hours and then, and then they're gone. Uh, because you're basically seeing what that person is that you may be interested in is doing. So if a bike thing interests you, you will see what we do from day to day because I post on there every day of the bikes that are coming in and out all the time. And as soon as I get new products in or any new exciting news, it always hits Instagram before it hits YouTube, generally speaking. So right now, the tripod, the camera is sat on our bar. Now this piece of wood that the camera sat on is a very, very old piece of reclaimed I think they call it bird's eye maple. Beautiful piece of wood and the, the joiner who we got in for the day, well, he's actually here for quite, quite a few days doing other, other bits and pieces. I, th I think uh, he's done a wonderful job of mitering the corner here because it's almost an impossible thing to do to mitre the corner over here. Um, but this itself is worth just coming here to see. 
this, this beautiful bar area. And obviously behind the bar, we have an excellent coffee machine. We have fresh roasted beans delivered weekly. So if you're lucky enough to be here on the right day, you can sometimes be drinking coffee, which was only roasted the day before, which is uh, pretty special. So this whole coffee area here, my wife came up with a name, Ride and Grind. I thought, perfect. That's exactly what we're gonna call it. Now, I must just point out that this is not a coffee shop. We are not open to the general public just to walk in uh, or, ri or ride up and come in. We are appointment only. We have bikes in booked in for two months in advance at the moment. But every customer that comes here to have their equipment fitted, they all get free coffees and it's the best coffees. It's better than the main street coffees that are out there, I promise you. And we have pastries, donuts and cakes all lined up inside this, uh, all in here. None in there today because it's the weekend and we are closed at the weekend, but this is the only time I get to come and produce video content during the weekends or early hours in the morning or very, very late in the evening. So this whole area that I'm stood on right now is the upper deck area. We usually have two motorbikes up here. At the moment, I've got a Harley Davidson Pan America here, which is the first Harley Davidson Pan America to have Denali lights and a Hex Easy can on it. Since we've had this in, it's helped us market all the products from Denali and Hex. We've had a lot of Harley Davidson Pan America customers here having their bikes all kitted out with equipment. And all of their reviews, by the way, people who come and uh, fit the stuff, if you go onto our trust pilot, you'll see the reviews that people have left. No one goes away feeling unhappy, I assure you of that. Over here, I've got a rack here for the SW Motec tank bags because a lot of people like to see, touch, and actually put them on their bikes. So we do have a, a facility here where you can come and try the SW Motec bags. But once again, it's appointment only. You can't just rock up. Let me take you down for a proper walk around. Right, so this is the, the lounging area where customers sit and wait for their bikes. We've got TV, we've got the internet here. We've actually got super fast broadband here. We're almost just under the one gig broadband and we're on a full mesh system here. So it's very, very good. So if you're wanting to come here and spend four or five hours waiting for your bike to be kitted out, well then it's nice and warm in here. We've got full underfloor heating. It's nice and cozy in here with our nice red leather Chesterfield sofas as well. And then as we walk down the barn, here, this is my desk. This is where I sit every day for many hours on end. We've got pretty cool display stand here with the full Akrapovich. We've got a Yoshimuri can up there as well. So there's a few impulsive purchases from customers when they come here and, then, and end up, they want some lights, but they end up having a full Akrapovich system fitted as well. It's a shame because I had a full titanium header set down there only last week, but that's gone. And the supply on these now are like, two months away we can't get our hands on any for quite a while and there's my triumph tiger this has now got the the brand new easy can on it which is not released yet so those of you watching this right now the easy can for the triumph tiger 900 and 1200 is not released yet but i do have the prototype here on this bike which i've been fully testing down in corsica for the last couple of weeks and um, we've just got back and we're happy with it all the tests have been successful and i'm pretty sure that this allegedly should be released before the end of the year. So those of you with Tigers, if you can just hold on a little bit longer, we'll hopefully have those new easy cans to you very, very soon. Now, other th something else I want to show you, this is kind of a, a nice treat for the company, uh, is our King Dick tools. So we've got a, a, a tool chest for myself and a tool chest for Tom, but we've done something a little bit different and these will also be available on the website very, very soon for you to buy if you want to. If you are in that place where you're looking for, for new tools, well then we are definitely the place that you should be coming to to look for those perfect tools. King Dick, lifetime warranty, it's fantastic stuff. Uh, obviously, I think these will be more suited for people in the UK because of the shipping costs, of course, it's gonna be very expensive to get this stuff out to you. But what I've got here is, I asked King Dick to do something a bit special for us. Instead of just supplying King Dick tools, there's a tool that we use all the time, which are, which are currently on the website now called Motor Hansa. So when you buy Motor Hansa tools from us, they come in a roll bag, but we've had drawers specifically made. Take a look. So when we're not on a road trip and we're not taking our tools around with us on these road trips, we can put the tools into the drawers and they've all had the foam cutouts. Not only that, the foam has been branded a bite thing as well. So it's just, um, 
just one little thing that we asked um, King Dick to do for us when they put these tool chests. So these are a bit of a one-off, a bike thing edition, King Dick tool chest with motor hands uh, tools as well. So this is the workshop area. This is where all the magic happens, guys. This is where all the magic happens. If you are on Instagram, you'll see this every day, a different bike in here, rolling in, rolling out, having the special a bike thing treatment, either by myself or Tom. This bike here, you should recognize it. Yes, it's mine. So if you haven't seen that video from nearly two years ago when I first bought this bike and we pimped it all out, I put a link up above for that. This bike is famous. This bike's actually gonna be for sale soon as well. So um, please uh, email me direct, Steve at a bike thing, if you are interested in this bike. If you're looking for a bargain, then forget it, okay? This, this, this bike is worth something, it's some 5,000 miles, but this video is not about that. Those of you who know this bike, know it's something a little bit extra special, so, but it will be up for sale quite soon, making way for something new. But the reason it's in the workshop today is because I've just taken the Lone Rider headlight guard off because a bike thing have, has got a new product coming very, very soon. And I will, I'm probably not gonna put that in this video. It's gonna be the next video. I've probably launched that video before this reveal video, who, who knows? But if you are looking for a, a new headlight guard for your bike or you ha or, or, and you haven't bought one yet, just hold fire because this new headlight guard has been in the making for two years. Now I did put on social media nine months as far as I'm concerned, it's been nine months, but the person who's actually made it has been working on it for two years. It's now perfected. It is kick-ass. It's the best headlight guard I've ever seen. No one's got it out there. It's not like anything else you've ever seen. I'll shut up now. Just look out for that video coming out soon, okay? So then through there is one of our storerooms where we've got products in there. So this, this great big brick wall you see here, this is the only wall that we retained as the, the natural brickwork because it's an internal wall. There's another room on the other side of there. Because energy, cost of heating and everything, we need to be as efficient as possible because we've got underfloor heating in and we need to keep the heat in. So all of the rest of the, the barn has been dry lined with lots of insulation in the roof and in the walls. So it's nice and warm and cozy in here. You have got to agree, what a great place to come to work. What a lucky member of the staff I have, plus me as well. Now, one of the other things that I had done is I've had these specially made for the company as well. So these are obviously motorbike chains with cogs. We've had our branding put onto the side of them. All of the, the light bulbs are those special light bulbs where they're smart light bulbs, so we can change the color and we, can, we have them all in sync. Uh, very, very nice. We've got these dotted around the wall all over the place. So as you walk back up the barn, um, okay, sorry, just to mention the floor in here. So as I mentioned, every, everywhere is under floor heating. We've got four different zones in the whole of the, the barn. So we can heat the, the areas that we want to heat. But, but this is like a, a extremely hard resin floor. So it's, it's not paint, well, it, it is painted, but it's not paint. It doesn't chip, it won't peel. When it got laid down, you've got like half an hour to, to lay it and it all got rolled out and it's rock hard. So, you know, we've dropped lots of tools on it already. All the kickstands and the center stands on the bike, they mark it, but then it, it comes up quite easily. So it's not actually scratching or flaking any paint. So it's not a painted floor, as I say, it's a hard resin floor. Keeping all of the beams natural. So we had all, the, all of the beams sandblasted and then Osmo oiled them all to try and preserve them as much as we can. There were a couple of beams up in the roof that needed repairing where we've had steel braces put over the, those wooden beams to strengthen them, but they look kind of cool anyway. We had extra skylights put in, so we've got lots of natural light coming in here, but we've got loads of extra light coming in from the under lighting from our, our workstation over here. And then we've got all the extra spotlights up in the ceiling as well which again, these are all zoned, these spotlights, so we can turn the spotlights off in certain areas. There's lots of switches in the, uh, by the front door as you walk in, so we can, we can limit how much energy we're using based on what we're doing. But obviously for this video, I've got all the lights turned on. And then when we get into this area here, we then got this laminate wood flooring, but it's not any old ordinary laminate wood flooring, it's a very high quality laminate wood flooring with a, a, a nice uh, foam underlay in between the, the screed and the flooring. I think you agree, it's absolutely lovely. So walking back up to here, this door here, that is where currently Joe, who works for us, 
Uh, unfortunately, Jo's moving on to new pastures. Um, she's found uh, a, a new job elsewhere, closer to home. So unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Jo. She's going to be sorely missed. She's been an absolute asset to the company. So message to you, Jo, on here, because I know I'm not that great at showing my emotions to you face to face. But thank you very much for being a part of a bike thing and helping us get to where we are today. Uh, we're now in a position to take on a full-time Joe. So if you're watching this right now and we haven't filled that position, it's how we found Tom. I, put, I literally mentioned on an old video that we're looking for a full-time engineer and we found Tom and he's a fantastic member of staff as well. So very sad to see Joe go. Please leave a comment down below and send your best wishes for her next role uh, with what she's doing. Anyway, so that is where she normally sits in there. It's another storeroom as well. It's a pick pack area, but for security reasons, I don't really want that on camera. Now, the person who made the wall lights, it was very important to me that I found a nice local company. I think of him as a blacksmith, but um, he's not a blacksmith. He, he calls himself a metal artist or a metal manipulation artist. I can't remember, so I'm sorry if you're watching this, <laughs> if I can't remember what you call yourself, but it's very important that I had someone local who was making the lights for us because I wanted uh, something edgy, I wanted something to do with motorbikes, it had to be a bike thing. So I went to him and I said to him, look, can you make me some cool lights? So look at these lights we've got down here. So these are a couple of table lamps. Notice the inmate signpost just there. So that was a very, very thoughtful gift from my youngest daughter. For my for my birthday um as a lot of you know my, my saying is inmates how's life behind bars so she put she put this together for me for the barn which was a lovely surprise earlier this year on my birthday seeing that she'd done that for me so we've got that there it says established 2017 which isn't strictly true it is because i had a motorbike business back in 2017 but that was to do with an r90 tail light but then I realized that adventure bikes was the way forward for me. That's where my passion lies. So a bike thing was born a year or two later. To continue the metal work, what he did, if, you, if we go now look up, look at them. So these are my chandeliers that the metal guy made for us. So I said, I want great big spheres made out of steel. I want them to be a bit rusty, nice and edgy. I want some cool bulbs in there. So there are proper features you walk in. So we've got two of these chandeliers in the property, which just keep this side looking nice and classy rather than just being stark, bright white lights. I think you agree, it looks really, really good. Now let me take you to the toilet. Like, why would I want to show you the toilet? Well, one of the things about classy restaurants, when you go to, I'm not saying this is a classy restaurant, but when you go to a classy restaurant, you should get pretty special toilets. I've had some wonderful experiences in toilets, which sounds completely wrong, but I, I really have, especially when you go to some swanky hotels and restaurants in London. So this is basically my attempt at trying to make a bit of a funky bathroom here at a bike thing. It's still a working progress, but come and take a look. So as you come into the, the toilet, we've got a nice blue tiling. We've got some external pipe work for the taps. I specifically asked the plumber, keep it external, but he's made it a little bit too perfect. So we're gonna get a plumber back in again just to make it a little bit messier so it looks like a proper working plant room, like a boiler room. The main thing that was quite special to me in here was the actual tap itself. So if you look down at that tap, you've got the red lever and the blue lever each side of the tap, but the tap is actually a petrol pump and then I got the same metal guy who's made all our lighting I got him to put in the plaque where it says now wash your hands you filthy animal he's done other things like this which we haven't got on the wall yet where I've got chains as coat hooks so we're gonna have those dotted around in places so you can hang up your hang up your hat all of this bar area is made with old reclaimed scaffolding planks so we're looking at doing a bit of work on here because I find that with the the piece of maple here and the the bar area made out of scaffolding planks and you've got the the wood flooring there's a bit too much wood here so i want to break this up so the guy who's done all of the lights for us and all the metal work all the chains he's putting together a great big piece of steel that's going to fit here like the rustier the steel the better that, that that's my thoughts but a nice big rusty piece of steel but then we're going to have our logo laser cut on the inside get some backlighting behind that mount it to the wall on some little standoffs once the backlighting comes on then you'll see the bike thing logo glowing on the wood of the scaffolding planks through the piece of rusty steel 
if that makes sense. So all this is to come and as it happens, it'll all be posted on Instagram right there on the spot. And obviously on future YouTube videos where I'm doing how-to videos and showing you products on there, you'll see it all in the background. And just before I make my coffee, let's take a quick step outside and show you what they did outside as well. So these doors, although they look like wood, they're not. They are proper hard steel doors, but with wooden cladding. Let's open this up. So there it is. So here is the outside now, and let's go back and look at what this looked like two years ago. Obviously we've had to change the door coming in here. So originally two years ago, that was a, an arched door. And like the one you see over there, there's the arch there. So we had two of those. Now that door there, there's nothing behind that apart from bricks. We've had that bricked up, same as the, the door down there. That's all bricked up from the inside as well. So you can't actually gain access to the property through those doors anymore. Uh, that is the only door into this property, those double doors. These lights here were a little bit of a labor of love on my part. I wanted these lights really, really badly, but they are so nice. They are, all of them, there's about one, two, there's four of them going down the length of the barn. They're all on a photo cell, so they automatically come on at night time. So it looks really, really nice. But um, I'm sure you agree, they are lovely. So let me know what you think of the place. I love it. This is like a second home to me. I spend a lot of time in here. Whilst I've still got your attention, if you do have a bike that you'd like us to work on and fit some of the products that we sell, well then please go to the fitting page on the website. From here, you can actually see our live calendar. You can't see people's names on there, but as people book in their bikes, we then reserve the slot on the calendar so you can see what available slots we have left so we can do the work on your bike. We don't have lots of customers here in one day, it's one customer per day because we give your bike the attention it deserves. We don't book in another one after it, so there's no rush. So when you are booked in on our calendar, you are the only customer coming to us that day and then we try and run our mail order side of the business around that as well. But our focus is on your bike. So if you want to book that in, go over to the fitting page on the website and you can see the availability we have on there. Fill out the form on there so we can get an idea of what work you want us to do to your bike and then we can get back to you with a quote for the work. Now I get a lot of emails from people saying, I just wish you were over in America. I wish you were in this country, but I'm not, I'm here in the UK. But I want you to know that our future plan is to be in the USA as well. We do actually have plans in progress right now for us to be based in the USA. So in the next two or three years, I hope, you know, and I'm saying on here so I can hold myself account to this. I still got a couple of years here to invest into this. So it's running without me and it can just have me coming in every three months uh, whilst the rest of the team we have here is running it for us. And then same in America, we'll come over there, set up a similar operation over there or something, something like it so I can, I can go back and forth. That's the plan, but we're still a long way off from that, but that is what I'm working towards. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate your support as a subscriber to the channel. I'm hoping you will notice that you don't see adverts when you go onto my videos. You shouldn't see adverts. If you are seeing adverts, that is something that YouTube is putting on there against my request. I actually tick the box saying no adverts because I want you here on this video. I don't want you seeing all the adverts. That's not the way I run my YouTube channel. I don't care too much about the monthly revenue that comes in. What I do care about and what shows me your support is if you buy the products that we talk about. So if you are in the market to buy the products that we sell, then I would appreciate you buy them from us. You will get that customer service like no other. That is what I take a lot of pride in. Actually, can I take you on a little, a very small journey, very small journey, please bear with me. So I was riding my Triumph Tiger in Corsica a couple of weeks ago and I got a message from a customer and I hope this customer sees this video, but I got a message from this customer 
and he was very abusive and he sent me some horrible things on Instagram saying, don't deal with this company, they take your money, they don't respond to emails. Straight away, I've literally stopped for coffee in the middle of my trip and it's really taken me off my ride. I got My head's like, what is going on? This is not true, this can't be true. So I contact this customer directly through Instagram. By the way, Instagram is not the way to, to contact us for customer support. You must email us directly at a bike thing. So sales at a bike thing or Steve at a bike thing. The whole team will pick that message up. If you try a message through a social media platform, it might only be me that can see that and I don't look at my social media messages for weeks upon a time. So that's not the way to get hold of us. You must do it through a bike thing.com. I saw this message, but instead of the customer messaging me, he decided to put all these messages on posts. After speaking to him, I found out that he actually bought his products from a competitor's website, not from me. This is not a one-off. There are other people out there that sell Denali products. There are other people out there with a similar name, with a similar name to the brand Denali. And it fools people where the people think they are buying from Denali, but they're not. This really grates with me because I've had conversations with many customers, many of my customers asking me what my experience is dealing with Denali, of which it's excellent. The product is excellent, the warranty is excellent, the customer support I get as a dealer that sells Denali and fits Denali is excellent. But I have customers telling me how poor it is and then I find out that they didn't actually buy it from Denali, they bought it from another company which has their name in their company title. I'm not gonna say who they are and give them the credit on this video. I invest so much money into the products, into the Denali brand, and then hearing other people out there in the world, globally, speaking badly of Denali, not because of Denali, but because of this other company that sells Denali products who are not Denali, then it cheapens the brand, and that upsets me. So please, rest assured, if you are my customer and you have a problem with any Denali products, you come to a bike thing. You don't go anywhere else. You come to a bike thing, all right? And we will look after you. Our trust pilot scoring is that I protect it with everything I have. That is the, the most important thing to me I have. Trust pilot is everything. That is where you, the customers, are leaving your feedback about the quality of workmanship, the quality of sales support that you are getting from me as a company. And the only way I can keep that scoring as high is if I look after you. So that I put my word to. I will look after you as our customer and do right by you as well as I can. So on that note, I feel like I've gone into one a little bit. The way I ask for your support is not by watching adverts on YouTube, but is by actually buying the products from me. Okay, and then you will get the after sales support with it as well. Those of you who are watching this and have bought from another company where you are not getting that after sale support and you have questions that you want to ask because you're not getting the answers from the other company you bought them from, please email us still. We want to help you. We still see you as one of our customers. You have got that Denali brand in your hand and I appreciate the fact that you've actually got that product. We will support you, but just please appreciate we might not be as quickly as supporting you as we are with our own customers who are buying the products directly from us, but we will look after you. I hope I haven't stressed my point too much, but I hope I stressed it enough, okay? Stay safe behind bars, and I'll see you in the next video.